O happy day that fixed my choice on thee. Methodus hymn 744. The hymn was written by Philip Daldridge, who lived from 1702 to 1751. Worldly people have the notion that contentment in life is dependent upon material possessions. This is a lie. Their dream is, if only I can get a little more. But one of the most important lessons we need to learn and teach our children early in life is, if I am not satisfied with what I have, I will never be satisfied with what I want. Contentment is an attitude that people need to be taught and helped to develop. It is a gift the Holy Spirit bestowed of, bestows upon those who yield their life to the Lord Jesus Christ. But unfortunately, it is foreign to our human behavior. The Apostle Paul was shut up in Nero's dungeon in Rome when he wrote, I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation. Philippians chapter 4 verse 12. Paul's contentment in life depended upon his personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Money can buy many wonderful things, but it never provides the permanent satisfaction of the human heart. Only an intimate daily relationship with the Spirit of God through Jesus Christ can truly satisfy the human heart. The question we need to ask ourselves every day, therefore, is what is the true source of my daily satisfaction or contentment? What on earth have I imagined to be the source of my happiness in life? Money, sex, wine, pleasure? No, none of these can satisfy the, heart, the test of the human heart. Only the Spirit of God can satisfy the deepest longing of our human heart. By this text, the author recalls the happy day of his new birth. It is a testimony that the satisfaction of the soul through faith in Jesus Christ is the greatest thing on earth. The author meant the word simply to share with others his conversion experience, the events that compelled him to put his trust fully in what God had done for him through the death and resurrection of his life of his son Jesus Christ on the cross. The transaction had been done over 2,000 years ago, yet it still works for anyone who believes and surrenders his life to Christ. He received his spiritual birth before his heart's satisfaction could be complete. And that is what the Christian salvation actually means. To be born again is to receive the benefit of Christ's sacrifice for sinners on the cross. Listen to the words. It was a happy day. A happy day when my satisfaction in life was fixed on thee, my Savior and my God. May this hungry heart rejoice to share its satisfaction all around. With this deep satisfaction received, the author Philip Dodrin concluded, It is done. The great transaction is done on the cross on my behalf. I am now my Lord, and he is mine. Now rest my long divided heart. Faith on this blissful new life, rest, nor ever from the Lord depart. It was indeed a happy day when Jesus washed my sins away. Have you ever in your life had this experience? Have you ever come to the knowledge that your sins have been forgiven and that you have been born again? The text expresses a sense of joy in a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Philip Godrich, the author, is generally ranked with Isaac Watts and Charles Wesley as one of England's finest 18th century hymn writers. And of all his 400 hymns, Oh Happy Day is the author's best known hymn. The tune is Justice Abraham's by D.C. Yamiko.
watch and pray I rejoice in every day Happy day, happy day When Jesus washed my sins away Thank you. We dissolve our certain for him interpretation. We thank you all for coming and we thank the choir for this splendid performance. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Young boy, so fascinating. Some bonus, oh, some bonus, watch out.